Hi, my name is Ed Zaworski. I'm with the ISU Plant and Insect Diagnostic Clinic, and today in this short video, I'm going to be talking to you about Rhizosphere Needle Cast. Rhizosphere Needle Cast is caused by a fungus. Uh, there are several species of this fungus that are collectively known as Rhizosphere Needle Cast. And as you may have guessed by the name, they cause the needles on the tree to fall off. Uh, Rhizosphere Needle Cast typically begins to infect a tree during the spring. Uh, typically when the weather starts to warm up and we have extended periods of high moisture and high humidity. You typically see rhizosphera begin on the older needles or on the inside part of the tree and it works itself out. On more uh, severe infections you can see almost the whole tree being defoliated and on uh, lesser infections kind of like this tree here you can see the outside needles are still healthy looking while the inside of the tree, if we step over here, is somewhat hollowed out. So when you're out looking at an established spruce tree and you're out scouting for rhizosphera, this is the kind of stuff you're looking for. You're looking for these browning, purpling colored needles. This is the early stages of infection. And from here, you're going to want to either look for uh, the fungal fruiting bodies if you have the capabilities. You could use a hand lens and you're looking for little black spots on the needles. That's not always present. Uh, the, the fruiting bodies are not always present, so sometimes you will need to get somebody like us in the clinic to look at it and get it accurately diagnosed. It is pretty important to get these things diagnosed by an expert because there's several things out there that can cause these kinds of problems. Winter injury can cause needles to die and fall off naturally. Another thing is um, there's several cankers on spruce and a canker infects the limb of the tree rather than the needles, but it can have the same effect. Um, blue spruce is by far the most susceptible of the spruce to rhizosphere needle cast, um, followed by Black Hills spruce and then Norway spruce. Norway spruce is actually considered to be more of a resistant variety of spruce to rhizosphere. If you have a blue spruce that's been looking relatively healthy, it's important to keep a close eye on it. And that's because the faster you notice rhizosphera, the more you can reduce the spread. What you can do is you can start to prune away infected limbs. Rhizosphera is uh, dispersed or uh, moved from limb to limb by rain splashing as well as wind. So if you're able to get some of those infected needles out of the tree, it should also help to reduce the spread of the disease. If these cultural practices that I mentioned before do not work to manage rhizosphere, or it's a very severe case, um, we recommend spraying. Uh, the fact that you can't cure these needles, you can't cure the infected needles. Needles that are infected are going to die and they're going to drop off the tree. What we can do with a spray is we can protect this new growth. 